You know, it's been said before that each of the four gospel accounts give us, as the reader, four different types of insight into who Jesus is. Let me share with you what I mean. The Gospel of John reveals to us that Jesus is God. The Gospel of Luke, well, it shows us that he's fully man. The Gospel of Mark, that Jesus is the humble servant. And the Gospel of Matthew, that he's the king. And you may say, well, where do I see that in the Gospel of Matthew? In your daily reading today, you're reading through Matthew chapter 1 and chapter 2. In chapter 1, we see the genealogy of Jesus, and we see an account of the birth of Jesus. And then in chapter 2, we learn a little bit about the Magi visiting from the east. And then we see this dream that's given to Joseph to warn him not to return to Egypt. It's an interesting passage, but see, at the very beginning, we read through this lengthy genealogy. But if you pay attention to the details of this genealogy, it shows us Jesus' lineage, that he truly is the son of a king, son of King David. But here's the beautiful thing that we recognize as believers. Not only in his earthly lineage is Jesus king, but as the son of God, he is the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the one who has come as Messiah to take away the sins of the world. Let me read this passage to you from Matthew chapter 1, who shows us who this great king is. Matthew quotes, Look, the virgin will conceive a child in verse 23 of chapter 1. She will give a birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Our great king is the God who is with us.